an era when a lot, a lot of us who are Americans worry that our government is broken. Certainly in Washington, D.C., there's ample evidence that we have a sclerotic system now. It, it, okay? at time, you know, they can't pass this, can't pass that. And I'm not uh, we, we are, we're being tested by history. Never before have we faced a challenge anything remotely like what the climate crisis represents for the future of humankind. We're still on a global basis putting 90 million tons of global warming pollution into the Earth's atmosphere every single day as if it's an open sewer. And it traps heat, it obeys the laws of physics as the scientists told, told us would happen. And the amount that's accumulated, accumulated up there as a result of human global warming pollution now traps enough heat energy every day to represent the amount of heat energy contained in 400,000 Hiroshima atomic bombs going off every 24 hours. Now it's a big planet, but that's a lot of energy. And that's what's evaporating a lot more water from the oceans. That's why the air holds so much more water vapor and causes these historic downpours and gigantic floods in so many places uh, in, in the world. Pakistan, Australia, Queensland got two and a half feet of rain in 48 hours two weeks ago. My we had record fires again last year. The biggest outbreak of West Nile virus ever in Texas. But these are all linked. Then, of course, we had Superstorm Sandy part of the 110 billion dollars in disaster related climate damage that we had in our country last year internationally not enough is being done at the federal level not enough is being done we have to win the conversation on the climate crisis and let me tell you what i mean by that the special interests have been working overtime to try to to pretend that it's not real. They don't want people to realize that dirty energy creates dirty weather. They want to pretend that it's just some kind of fraud that the scientists around the world, every National Academy of Science, every professional scientific society, 97% of the climate scientists, they want to pretend they're all lying. It is immoral. And what the these uh, Carbon polluters are doing today is, is immoral. But here's here's the point I want to make. When they've got so much power in Washington D.C. and they do, it's kind of pathetic, really. That no, no, our, our democracy's been hacked in in at the national level. It's been hacked. The operating system's been taken over. And, and they can't pass any reform unless they beg for permission from the special interests most affected by it. And it's time for the American people to say enough is enough. We're going to take our country back. We want American democracy again. Now, 